So back at my bench, my group and I mixed up uh, our reagents in our, our labeled tube. So here I have tube 2 and tube 3 for the temperature experiment. And remember, one of them should have about 3 mils in it, the other one should have about 5 mils. Make sure you look at it and test and make sure you've got the right amount in there. Now, in the lab there will also be ice baths and water baths to get them at the right temperature. Remember, you have to put them in there and leave them in for 10 minutes before you start the experiment. We're finally ready to actually watch the reaction. Now, it's important to remember that once the uh, reactants and the enzyme get mixed together, that reaction is going to start right away. So you have to be all ready to go as soon as, before you mix these. That means getting the spectrophotometer ready. Unlike in the last lab where you change the wavelength all the time, this time it's going to be left at 500 nanometers for the entire time. Now, I've already blanked it, so I'm going to take my blank out and save this for later. And now I've got my carefully measured uh, reagents that have been incubated in the right temperature or the correct pH and we're ready to go. So, as soon as I mix these together, somebody else in my group needs to start watching the clock because we're going to take readings every 20 seconds. All right, so here I go. I'm going to mix them together by just pouring them back and forth in these big tubes. And then I'm going to fill up my spectrophotometer tube about halfway, wipe it off to make sure there aren't any fingerprints on there, put it in and go. Another thing you'll notice is that the numbers on the spectrophotometer are not going to stabilize and level off. That's because the reaction is actually going on. More of that amber colored uh, product is being produced all the time. So don't wait for the numbers to, to stop moving. They're going to keep changing and just take the numbers when you get to each time point. So it's 120 seconds later and this reaction is done. You'll see that uh, you can actually see that amber color in the, the uh, spectrophotometer tube and also in the leftover uh, mixture that you have in your big tube. This is kind of important to clean up quickly because this amber uh, material will stain the tubes. So everything can get dumped down the sink with the big tubes. You can use one of these brushes at the sink to scrub them out and get all that out of there. But do not use this brush on the spectrophotometer tube. If you try and stick it in there, it's going to scratch up the surface and that's going to make the readings not accurate. So just dump this out, rinse it a couple times, and you'll be ready to use it again.